Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on this video. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, today, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, like most of my videos, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't really have much planned. I really want to try a sunset one. Like, I've got a picture. I'll pop it up for you. Um, my friend on Instagram, she took a photo of the sunset that was yesterday. And it's just too pretty not to try and recreate. Um, maybe the next one I can do something really extravagant. Like, I know on Instagram I did that green and blue eye. Also, I did dye my hair the other day. It's a bit darker. Um, I tried to go as to my natural roots as possible, but um, because I had regrowth, the actual hair dye and my natural roots kind of went a bit red. <laughs> so, I don't want to dye it anymore until my wedding. <laughs> so I'm just going to probably have three coloured hair, which is great. But anyways, back to the makeup look. Um, I do want to try this um, sunset. So it's got like a orangey and up to purple blue, orangey red, up to the purple blue. I don't know. I want to try and recreate this on my eye. I've always wanted to do a sunset look. Um, I just never really did it. So I want to do that today. And I finally got a palette that I was wanting for ages. And I'm pretty sure you can see it. It's the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, yes, it's been out for ages, but, um, I never got around to buying it, <laughs> so I finally bought it. I don't know why I was waiting. I think I was waiting because I didn't have enough money, or I just purchased other stuff and went, ah, oh, I should probably stop. But I finally got it. Everyone, everyone and their dog has this damn palette, so, <laughs> um, I finally wanted to get it. I've always wanted to get it. I do want the Anastasia Riviera palette, but holy it's a lot of money. Like, it is a lot of money. So, decided to get this one instead of the Riviera. And you get a lot more colours in here than the Riviera palette. I still want it though. Anyways, I'm going to shut up. Let's get on to this video because it will be like 10 million years long. Alright, so, let's go. Alright, so, as you guys can see, I've primed and um, set my eyes. I've also done my eyebrows. I want to try this eyes and eyebrows first kind of thing. I want to see how that goes for me anyways. Um, as you can see, they're sisters. They're definitely not twins. Uh, but eyebrows are supposed to be sisters and not twins. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I think, silk cream. So I'll show you which one that is. Um, pretty sure it's that one there. Um, and I'm just going to grab a uh, nice fluffy blending brush because I'm just wanting I'm just gonna do this messily I'm not going to actually do nice and precise because this is just like a um, transition color because I've got excess skin I'm literally just popping that onto the where my crease is supposed to be I just relax my eyes and just put it in there because when I lift up my eyebrows, that's actually where the crease is. I'm going to grab my slush palette, which is really the only eyeshadow palette that actually has a bunch of colors, like rainbow colors. It's the only palette I have that, with that, so. So I'm going to take that color there, the yellow, the banana. Um, I'm going to take banana and pop that on my mobile lid. The mobile lid is the biggest part of your eye, so it's where, it's like right there. I'm just going to take that on a um, medium-sized shading brush. I'm just going to pop that. I'm going to concentrate it more near the roots of my lashes because we want to put an orange color next. I don't want it too pigmented as well because the photo isn't actually, you can't see that much yellow. It's like hidden behind the trees, but I just want to put just a little bit so we have that nice transition. I'm just patting the um, product. I'm not like doing side to side motions or anything like that. Why is it that I start recording and I'm super duper hot? It's not even summer anymore, it's autumn. Alright, I'm going to back. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill and Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to take this colour here, which is Cremsicle. I'm going to take the same brush and flip it so it's the colours on the other side where the yellow was. 
Um, I did wipe it on a um, little cloth that I have right next to me to try and get rid of some of the product. And Creamsicle is a really nice, it's like a mustard color actually. I think that's what she was, she describes it as mustard. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pop that on top of the yellow and a little higher. I may actually put this on top of the yellow actually. And I'm just patting it. I'm not like, smushing it in there and whatever is left on my brush I'm just gonna go on top of the yellow because the yellow is a bit too bright I'm gonna go into my slush palette I'm going to go I think I'm gonna go into this it's called sour cherry um, on camera it, it's the camera is making it a bit brighter than what it actually is. Uh, so I'm just going to grab that really, really lightly. And I'm going to pop that into the crease. So where the orange ends. I'm going to take the um, Colourpop blending brush. I think it's the smaller one. The firm blending brush, I believe. So that's how much product I've got on it. And I'm just going to tap quite a bit off. I'm just going to really lightly. Like ever so lightly. It in the crease. I'm gonna grab a firmer um, shading brush and I'm gonna grab Cremsicle again. I'm actually gonna pop that where we put the yellow, so I'm just gonna pop that on top. So I feel like that's where it should, it should have been in the first place, so my bad. Now, I'm gonna go back into sour cherry I'm actually gonna take the small a small um, blending brush this is the Mac 217 I'm not gonna tap off like as insane as I did before I'm gonna try and get some color in here that's better I'm just gonna angle it downwards so it's, it doesn't go too high. When you angle it upwards, it's gonna go higher than what you may want. So I'm just gonna angle it down and focus it there. Cause I wanna put the purple almost on top of it as well. It's looking pink, but that's fine. I did want a little bit of pink. So I'm gonna color, I'm gonna color, I'm gonna drag the color down a little bit just so it's on top of that orangey yellow bit. I don't want too much on my brush though. I feel like I have a bit too much here, but that's fine. Let's just blend it. I'm just gonna blend it up in here a bit. I'm gonna grab um, the same brush that I used with Creamsicle. Um, I've wiped off most of the product there and I'm actually going to grab the grape I think and I'm gonna start off with that if it's a bit too light I'm gonna grab a little bit of what are you black current so the deeper purple tap off some of the product and pop that into my crease so it's almost on top of if not on top of the pink color because we want that nice gradient I'm not sure if this is <laughs> the sun of the sunset, but it's nice and colorful. Majority of the color is gone, so I like to blend it down here. Like I like to go on top of the color, just so it's nice and blended and like nice. See that nice gradient? If you can have a look. Here and here, there's a nice gradient. I'm going to deepen it up just a little bit. And I'm actually going to take this one. So this is a tapered blending brush and it's the Morphe M506. I'm going to take black current. So I've already got product on my um, brush. I'm going to tap off a, quite a bit of the excess. I'm just going to concentrate that in the crease area. Because there's a point, it will make um, the crease a bit more prominent. So I'm just going to put it on the side and go upwards so it's a bit more purple than pink. And I really just want the colour to be more so up here rather than down. Most of the colour is actually on the little tip bit 
um, and a little bit on the sides so it would blend nicely. I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend out all the edges. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, I'm just going to take the black, this one here, the black one from the um, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So I'm just going to take the, cut, the black colour on a angled brush and I'm just going to line my top lid. Just going to slightly angle it out just a little bit. I don't really like that blunt end, so I just really like to um, angle it, have a little wing like at the end, just a, just a little tiny one. I'm not really happy with the pink, I really want it to be more purple, so I'm just going to grab the MAC 217, so the firmer blending brush, and I'm just going to try and put some purple in there. going purple. I mean on the camera it looks quite pink but on here it's a bit more purple. Now the purple has taken over. I'm gonna go back into cream school here um, and just grab a little bit more of, I'm actually gonna concentrate it more in the center here. Um, and then a little bit on the sides because in person it looks like a hot mess. On camera, it also kind of looks like a hot mess. And because I already did the line up, that's fine, doesn't really matter. I can go on top of it. I'm going to try and get more of that orangey yellow. I'm also going to try and blend it together. I think it's blending in with the black, but that's fine. Honestly, I'm fine with that. It sounds like I'm not, but I actually am. Because it actually is working really nicely. I know I said I was going to concentrate it more so in the middle, but, you know, things don't go to plan. So I'm first tapping it, and then I'm moving it side to side to try and blend it into the um, pink and the purple. When I open up my eyes, it's just a yellow and purple. But when I close them, it's a really nice gradient, and I really like that. I'm actually going to take the um, Morphe M506 brush, and I'm just going to really lightly, like really lightly, blend those two colors a little bit more. Then I'm going to take the ColourPop blending palette, blending palette, blending brush again. There's no product on there. That's a little bit of a stain there, and I'm just going to try and blend the top so it's nice and seamless. I'm going to say that's it. Now let me zoom you out. No, out. I also purchased, with the palette, I purchased the um, famous sponge, and I also got the setting spray. And I'm going to use the, this is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. And I'm going to put two pumps um, onto my little stippling brush. I'm just going to pop that all over my face. I'm trying really hard not to get the concealer around my eyebrows. Anyways, I really like this one, to be honest. It's really nice and velvety. It doesn't, like, completely mattify. Like, it's not drying or anything. Um, the only thing is, as you can tell, there's a little bit of a white cast. My face goes red whenever I rub it or anything like that. You know, that's natural, but it's kind of really annoying. Um, the foundation I'm going to use, the Infallible 24-Hour Foundation. Um, and this one's in 120 Vanilla. I'm just going to do one, and I'm going to use the sponge. I'm actually really excited. Um, now, this foundation color is, I think it's like a shade darker than my natural skin color. Like, my neck, definitely. So, I just go down my neck and into my chest area here. But I like it to be a bit more tan. This is the lightest, like, yellow undertone shade foundation in that range which really sucks but I mean you can make it work and I definitely need to wow all right let's put some I'm gonna put some down my neck first that's 
bit better, isn't it? Do so you like? It kind of matches my shoulder and decolletage area. I mean, that's where I match all my foundations, not my face or my neck. Um, it's usually my decolletage because I'd rather have it match my decolletage and my whole, the rest of my body rather than just my neck and my face because my neck is quite pale and then around my mouth area it's a little discoloured so it's a bit darker and then it's a bit light. I don't know, my face is completely weird. Also, really liking this um, sponge. It's I feel like it's quite similar to the Eco Tools one, the green one, because it's quite firm. Um, um, I like this a lot better than um, the Real Techniques. The Real Techniques is really soft and it does suck in a lot of the product because it's so soft. I'm just going to use the rest on my neck because I only had like the little tiniest little bit. I'm going to go a little bit further down to my like collarbone area. I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral and I'm going to conceal underneath these eyeballs. Um, I don't want too much because this is just covers up a lot of stuff um, and it's quite full coverage. All right, I'm going to take the um, tip and I'm just going to blend it all out. I'm going to take the RCMA palette, palette, the RCMA um, no colour powder. I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to flip it onto the other side where there's no product. I'm going to set my under eyes and I'm actually going to set my whole face as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm not going to bake for too long. So I'm just going to... Get rid of all that excess powder. I'm also gonna go with whatever is on this brush. I'm just gonna go over my eyebrows. Long story short, this sponge is really good. I'm gonna spray some of this onto my face. Just so the powder isn't like up onto my um, skin. Put a lot on this side. So I'm going to line my tight line up here and I'm actually going to take some gel. I'm going to see how this works. I'm just going to... I'm not going to drag it. I'm just going to try and place it more so. I'm using Bahama Mama for my bronzing and my contouring. So brontour. I don't know if that's a thing. I think I heard Tati say it one time. I don't know if it's a thing, but I'm going to brontour. So I'm literally just patting it first in here. That's how I contour. And then I'm going to flick it up. Ta -da. I'm going to grab some more and I'm going to concentrate that in here where I really need it. Whatever is left of my brush, I'm just going to go behind my jaw and then underneath. All right, I'm going to grab a little bit more. I'm just going to do my neck. So I'll just do light circular motions. All right, now I'm taking more, I'm squeezing it, and I'm just going to do my nose. I'm not really trying to contour my nose, I'm just trying to bronze it up a little bit and like just slightly contour, but it's not, I'm not trying to get a new nose. I'm gonna grab some blush and obviously the coral blush from Inglot. I haven't found a blush that I really liked that is very similar to this. <laughs> I just, I, I can't. This is brilliant. I've had this for ages and I haven't even dented it. And because I'm doing a summer sunset, I kind of want to be bronze. So the coral, I'm going to put a little bit more on than usual. I'm going to put some in my apples on my cheeks. And then I'm going to concentrate it more so into that bronzer that I have. All right, now I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take that purple. So I'm going to take black currant. I'm going to take the MAC 217 um, Firm Blending Brush. And I'm going to concentrate that on the outer third of my eye. I'm going to take Sour Cherry on this really tiny Morphe M562 brush. So this is just a really tiny, precise blending brush and I'm just going to grab so the sour cherry onto it and kind of concentrate that in the middle. Now I'm going to take this teeny tiny little little brush. So this one's the Morphe M515. I'm going to take creamsicle and I'm going to pop it in the inner corner and blend it into the sour cherry. 
because I really like how the inner corner is a different colour. Alright, sorry guys, but my camera decided to uh, turn off. What I did off of camera is, firstly I put um, the black gel in my waterline. Didn't like how that looked, so I decided to put in the a nude eyeliner in my waterline and then I set it with the, the eyeshadow beam here. Alright, so the mascara I'm going to put is the NARS... Climax. It's just a really small one because I didn't know if I liked it or not. Um, and I'm still yet to decide if I like it or not. The more that I wear it, the more that it's growing on me. Alright, now I'm going to spray some of the setting spray. And I'm going to put on my... Uh, I really like myself in this hair now. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Alright, so the highlighter I'm going to take is is the tart one just gonna take a nice big fluffy kind of I think this is supposed to be for the um, eyes but I use this for the face for the highlighter now I'm gonna put some lashes on and I'm gonna try these ones so the either these two and these weren't as wispy as they were so I did the um, like the spoolie and I kind of like did that <laughs> whatever you know that is and that was a trend ages ago but I really wanted to try it one is Miss Cheeky and one is devilish can I tell you which one's Miss Cheeky and which one's devilish no because I didn't read what they are when they were in the packaging um I am thinking of this one here so I'm actually going to pop them on and come back with lashes on because I haven't trimmed them to my eyes so I'm gonna do all that and I'm gonna come back with lashes on so yeah, I'll be right back probably gonna do nude um, lips so I'm going to grab the Rimmel lasting finish thousand hour no thousand kisses um, lip pencil and tiramisu so I got these um, like jewels for your face like, you know how people that go to festivals, I don't go to festivals. I really want to go to a festival. I actually like this colour. I think I'm just going to leave it and put some, like, lip balm over the top. I'm sorry if my camera... This is a new camera, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed, but I bought a new camera, and this is a Canon G7X Mark II something or other. And I'm still trying to get used to this autofocus business. What I, whatever I was talking about before. I got these little bad boys. These are from Australis, the Festival Jewels. So I've got this silvery hollow chrome type of thing. And then I've got this colourful one here. So I kind of want to put one on. I'm thinking this one, but I don't know if this one will go with... Um, so I think I'm going to use these guys. I'm just going to use the top though. I want to see how it works. How do I take it off, number one? Okay, now this is really sticky, so I want to put it right here, Ooh. shove it right in there, how pretty, I don't know if you can get these anymore, but I'm so happy, more, alright, this has just turned into a festival makeup look, <laughs> a sunset inspired festival look, um, so this is how the makeup turned out. Um, I like it a lot better without the stuff underneath. I hope you guys like it too. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. Um, tell me what you want to see. Do you want to see more colourful eye looks? Do you want to see more um, everyday kind of looks? Like, What do you guys want to see? Please comment below what you want to see and um, I'll try to do my best to go by what you guys want to see. Subscribe if you haven't, join the NKM family, yeah, put that notification bell on so you know um, when I upload and all that stuff and yeah I hope you guys have a great day or evening or wherever you are and whatever time it is. I hope you have a great time. I'll see you later guys. Bye.